Welcome to the Rescue Wagon. The Rescue Wagon is a five by eight cargo trailer conversion camper. We built the Rescue Wagon so that we could take it places that you couldn't take a normal camper. Off-road, we also needed something that was under 2,000 pounds that we could pull with our 2007 two-door Wrangler. Now we have a previous video that has our initial build and things that we put in it and specific costs, but this video is going to be an updated tour because we've added a whole lot of things since we did some camping and found things that we felt like we were missing and needed to add. So we go into detail in separate videos explaining how we specifically did certain things that we added and how we did certain builds. So you can find those specific videos with specific details. If you see something you like or you see something that you might have done differently, leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button. So let's go ahead and take a tour. The outside of the rescue wagon is an integral part of our camper and of our camping experience because the 5x8 camper is very small inside so we really have to maximize space inside which means the outside we have decided to really maximize the outside of the camper. Honestly we spend all of our time outside rather than inside the camper. We put in an RV step. We used to have a little uh, stool that we stood on but when you'd come out if you come out with any kind of force, sometimes that thing would want to uh, uh, move around. So we added this in. These little hooks don't look like much. They're just self-adhesive, they stick on. But wow, do they make a big difference when you are out camping to hang you know, wet shorts, garbage bags, all kinds of different stuff, and they hold a lot of stuff. We have stabilizers on all four corners of the rescue wagon and the stabilizer, obviously, when we jack it up. So we have a shelf that we have on the outside that when we stop, we can simply put the shelf up and then we're able to use the shelf for coffee. We can put a burner on here. We can put basically anything you want to on here. And then when you go to drive, you just put it right down. Really simple to use, but so much functionality with the shelf. It's one of my favorite things. We also put an outlet really close to the shelf so that you can easily plug in some of those small, small appliances that you would set on the shelf. In addition, we found some solar powered lights that we use on the outside of the rescue wagon, which gives us some light at night and we don't have to use any of our power sources. We mounted a, a platform back here for an additional um, 15 pound propane tank. And the reason we did that is we like to be able to have our cooking station right here. So this was a prime spot for that. The wheel is a stock Jeep wheel from our 2007 Jeep Wrangler. And we added some new tires to those wheels when we put them on. You have to use a spacer and also uh, it converts the bolt pattern because a trailer bolt pattern is different than a Jeep Wrangler. The 17 inch tire, uh, which actually hurts, works out to about a 31 inch tire. Uh, if you're looking at 31s versus 33s, that type of thing, uh, gives us a lot more clearance when we're off road. And the trailer came with a straight axle, which made it much easier to put these on. If you have a drop axle, it's not as easy to put the bigger tires and wheels on. So if you're gonna get one, um, having a straight axle does help out with being able to make it a little bit higher. We put a hitch on the back of the rescue wagon so that we could have a bike rack or other accessories. We added a backup camera, which we actually use more like a rear view mirror. It's also handy to look at your bikes and whatever you're carrying while you're going down the road. Another one that thing that I really like that we put in was a window in the back. The reason this is so nice is because inside the camper, the more windows that you have, the brighter it feels and the bigger it feels. In addition, this has a screen, so you're able to open the window, let some air flow through. We added gas cans for our generator when we're out in the boondocks or wherever. Uh, so that we could keep fuel in the generator. The trailer did not come with a spare tire. When we added the Jeep wheels, we wanted to add a spare tire holder. What we did is we put a, we welded in a foot down here underneath the frame to hold it. Then we ordered a spare tire holder. You can see it in the description below. And then we measured and, 
and set that up to be able to hold the, the spare tire on. And we connected it through our E-Track on the inside to give it extra sturdiness so that we were actually connecting into something with some something substantial behind it. Mounted on the outside of the rescue wagon are some off-road track boards. Now these off-road track boards are really, really handy when you're off-roading or you're driving on the beach because you can get stuck. And we have actually gotten stuck ourselves and we've also helped other folks get unstuck. We added a shovel and an ax. They come in very handy for uh, one, if you get stuck, but also they come in very handy if you're gonna do a fire on the beach. We added a piece of uh, uh, sticky rubber diamond plate in here so, so that the shovel would not uh, scratch the side of the vehicle. The, what holds these here are called quick fists and they will hold 25 pounds. We are not fisher people. However, we do like to do some fishing when we're camping and enjoy some of the natural beauty that goes along with some of that, some of the fishing. So we put in a four rod fishing pole holder and it is actually secured at the top. We had to get creative and it's secured at the top with a ski rack and you can watch that video for specifics on how to do that. We added a generator to the front tongue with a box that's welded together to hold it in place. Underneath, it's got rubber diamond plate on top of plywood, which really cuts down on any vibration that you might get. Um, there's a custom made cable that is short. It goes from the front to the, to the rescue wagon to give it power. And this generator is powerful enough to run the AC. We have a 13,500 BTU air conditioner, which runs it fine. And also the lights and the refrigerator inside. We decided to go with a full door that swings to the side with the rescue wagon for a couple reasons. One, we weren't gonna be bringing any motorcycles or anything in and having a ramp door for us wasn't gonna work really for what we wanted. Um, we also wanted something that would stay, if we had it open, wouldn't allow critters to kind of crawl up easily. Not that they can't get in, but just not as easily. On this door, what we have is we have a handle. So when we're inside, I can pull on this grab this handle, pull it shut, and then I can actually latch it and lock it inside. When we designed the bed in the rescue wagon, we really had to think about our storage area because all of most of all of our storage area is underneath the bed. So in the rescue wagon, when we show you the inside, you'll see that we opted to not do the kind of bed that would turn into a dining room table because of two reasons. One, we just don't ever sit in the rescue wagon. Like we're outside, we are sleeping in the rescue wagon. So what we wanted was a bed. We wanted a comfortable bed. And in order to have a dining room table, we would have had to sacrifice some of the comfort. So as we thought about how high we needed to make the bed, we had to keep in mind the size of tubs because we put our stuff in tubs and that's our storage underneath. So here's our outdoor shower. We've got instant on hot water heater that is connected to our propane tank, which as soon as you turn the water on, turns the hot water, it turns hot water on instantaneously. We have the option of hooking it directly here through a garden hose if we have running water where we're at, or if we don't, we can run a line actually into a five gallon collapsible bucket that, that will be pumped through the system with this pump. So, and the pump runs off the generator and um, you know, having everything right here is so convenient. It really, really makes it nice. And these seal right up and they're great for traveling. We also have our pop-up shower. Pop it up anywhere. You can take your shower in there. You can actually hang your shower head from the inside. You've got openings, you got things to hold your soap. This also doubles as a privacy area for your portable uh, toilet as well. So it works out really well. Last but not least, we have great shade with our awning that we put on. And the cool thing is, is we don't just have an awning on this side, we actually have one on the other side as well. So when the sun's coming directly down and it's not providing shade, we can move to the other side. It's now time to give you a tour of the inside of the rescue wagon. Now the inside of the rescue wagon, it is a five by eight cargo trailer converted into a camper. So it's not huge, but to be honest, it was a really great use of space, so it's actually a lot bigger than you think it would be.
we're gonna show you all the nifty things that we have found that make a great use of space. So first thing we did was we hung a shoe holder that we got off of Amazon. And this holds just all the odds and ends and things that you need, but you don't really have anywhere to put. We put a screen on the door of the rescue wagon. The screen is actually a magnetic screen in the center, so it just pops right back together. And the screen is put on with Velcro around the door. In the nose of the rescue wagon, when you first walk in, you'll notice we put some built-in shelves with cargo nets in front of the shelves. The cargo nets allow you to store things inside the cargo net as well. We have a microwave and a mini fridge. On the main shelf, we secured a box on one side and a silverware holder on the other side so it won't move when we're traveling which makes it a lot easier so we don't have to take it up and down. And then we installed two shelves in the very back of the nose cone to make sure that we can maximize all of that space and that's where we keep our dishes and we keep all of our food on this second shelf along with our shelf here and our shelf here and here. We put up a portable charging station, which allows us to put each of our cell phones in those holders and they charge right here. And then we have a spot for our iWatches as well. To make it easier for plugging things in, we've installed two power strips on either side just to make it so it's not quite as difficult to, if you have food set up in here, it can be challenging to have to take it out to get to that power source. So we have another one here as well. We installed a mirror that pulls out. So I'm actually able to sit on the bed and get ready in the morning using the mirror. And it flips around. So you have a magnified version as well. We installed a bin so that we're able to place other items such as I usually put like any of my hair products, things like that in this bin. We also put in battery operated LED lights. We put them as you come in and then next to our side of the bed so that we have some light, but we don't have to use that. If we don't have power, those, are, those operate on batteries. So we don't have to worry about plugging in. On the front of the shelf, we have a towel holder. All of the windows have a blackout curtain and we used some stick-on rod holders to install the to, to install the curtain rod so we didn't have to put holes in the side of the wall. Next to each side of the bed, we have the bottom part of our shoe holders. We cut it off and we sewed the top and then we screwed the bottoms on either side of our bed so we, we each have a little nightstand, if you will, along with a cargo net drawer as well. We have installed a four outlet center. We've installed a cell phone holder on the wall. We're able to easily watch YouTube or TV from our phone. We have an ottoman that sits in our rescue wagon and it is also our toilet, but we have an ottoman cover that covers it so that it's not just a toilet sitting there. If we are using the toilet inside, we simply have to pull off the ottoman cover and we have our little portable toilet and we have had no issues with it smelling bad or creating any kind of smell in the camper. We each have a drawer which is really a tub for all of our clothes and it's right underneath our side of the bed so Kevin simply pulls out his on his side of the bed and I have mine on my side of the bed. To make a full-size bed, we actually had to create a slatted bed, which has slats, and then each side will pull out and extend the bed to the correct size. 
And then once it's pulled up to the correct size, we have a piece of the mattress that is cut to size to fit on to the place that we've extended. Even once you have the full-size bed out, there's still room to move around. It's tight, but you have a full-size bed in a five by eight camper. You can still get into the fridge. You can still use the microwave. You can still get into your clothes and different things like that. In worst case scenario, if you're having some difficulty and need some more space, you just slide one side back in and then you're good to go. And the nice thing about these is they will actually, the uh, porta potty is actually right under here. If you need it in, in the camper while you're somewhere, so it can straddle it and it works great. We have the capability to open the back and we have a portable screen that Velcros around the back. So if we want to just leave the screen open and have the whole back open, we can. Or we can always shut it and just use the window. We have lots of, oper we have lots of different ways that we can what, that we can maximize the outdoor the outdoor while we're indoors. You can see that we have tons of storage space underneath which makes off-road camping and boondocking really nice. So don't forget to subscribe and also give this video a like and also making cool stuff like this just being able to to do the things that really make you feel free allows you to be free.